My name's John Little. I'm the managing director of Shearwater TSCM, which is based at Station X, Bletchley Park. Let me introduce our training aids and validation tools, the technology that could threaten your critical information security. We've been thinking about defence in depth for millennia. In today's rapidly advancing technological world, we need to start thinking about defence in breadth. We've created this video to help broaden thought processes, understand the various attack methods, share our knowledge and experience in countermeasures to keep your mission critical information safe from attack. Throughout this video, we will show various devices that both demonstrate the technology and provide validation tools to test TSCM defences. Visible light attack, first in the form of an LED light bulb. All the technology is in the actual light bulb, microphone, modulator. A physical inspection will show no difference from this standard unmodified light bulb. With the optics here, the range can be as much as 300 metres in dry air, although greater ranges can be achieved using a telescope. Rain reduces range down to as low as 75 metres. That's still across the street. This type of attack is applicable to both energy efficient bulbs and fluorescent light tubes. The same technology is applied to these individual LEDs, similar to any on indicator on any electrical or electronic equipment or device. Invisible light attack can be in the form of ultraviolet, UV, or infrared, IR light. These LEDs demonstrate this principle. In addition, this small laser transmitter also illustrates the capability to convey speech over a normally invisible link, albeit alignment, is a tricky business. The countermeasure to this attack is this test equipment which provides the modulation frequency and the ability to listen to the light source. Ultrasonic sound is another technology that is often overlooked, although more commonplace than many would think. The alarm system within your car is likely to be ultrasonic detection. The range is up to 50 meters. Inductive attack employs only the magnetic field, which has a short range, typically seven meters, but this will penetrate a Faraday cage or similar safe enclosure, including steel construction. Remember, if you want to break out of prison, you first need to get out of your cell. Inductive technology, therefore, could be a key component in a hybrid attack. The countermeasure for all three technologies is the universal detector, which can be switched between ultrasonic, light and inductive. Laser experiments are of interest to many, including me. To this end, we have built a demo rig and range experiments are still in progress. I am of the opinion that range is essentially a function of the ability to line up the laser source with the receiver. Vibration proof mounts both ends, micrometer control adjustment, and the ability to see from point to point. Dry, clear air is a significant factor. Rain could be the kiss of death. <laughs>